Well, welcome back to the Prospect Hub. We talk about Mets prospects. I'm going to talk about the, the top prospects that were hitters this year. And some of them are guys that aren't, you know, you're not going to find them on any 30, any top 30 list. But these are guys that had good years. Uh, and But before we get into this video, you need to hit the subscribe button and leave comments in the comment section. Three strong hitting performances within the Mets system in 2024. And this is, of course, from Metsmerized. One of the focuses for the New York Mets since owner Steve Cohen took over and after President of Baseball Operations David Stearns came on was to build a minor league system. The Mets have done so. Now owning a farm system that is ranked around the top 10, 10 by many. Of course, there are several intriguing bats that headline such system, including the likes of Jet Williams, Drew Gilbert, and Ryan Clifford, among others, who were some of the Underrated names in the system who had strong offensive years in 2024. First up, Nick Morabito, the 21-year-old. Certainly has some pedigree to him. Morabito was drafted in the second round in 2022 and has quickly made his way up from the Florida Complex League to High A Brooklyn by the end of 2024. To start the season, the right-handed hitting alpha that began in Saint, single A St. Lucie and slashed 397, 530, 513, which was good for a 10.43 on base plus slugging percentage. He was quickly called up to high A Brooklyn, where he remained for the rest of the season, hitting 2.94 with a 7.47 OPS over 377 at bats. Between the two levels, Morbido posted a 3.12 batting average to go along with a 4.03 on base percentage and 59 stolen bases. The 4.03 on base percentage ranked 24th among all minor leaguers who played between single A and triple A level this season. Additionally, not only did his overall 312 comfortably lead the whole Mets system in 24, but his WRC plus of 135 also ranked first slimly ahead of Mets prospect Ryan Clifford. <clears throat> of course, there's some concern in terms of how much power more Beetle can actually muster. The slugging percentage was less than his on-base percentage at both the single A and high A levels. Specifically, only 26 of his 142 hits on the year were of the extra base variety. Overall, Morabito excels at walking a ton and does a great job of getting the barrel to the ball to generate base hits while causing chaos in the base pass with his base steal and acumen. However, the power is certainly a question mark. Regardless, it was a terrific 2024 for an intriguing prospect in the Mets system. Next up, Luke Ritter. When might Luke Ritter finally get his shot? Ritter has been one of the better bats in the Mets system the last two seasons. After posting an 868 OPS across double A and triple A in 2023, Ritter followed that up with a 849 OPS in 24 over a full season at triple A level. Ritter's 122 WRC plus in 24 ranked third in the Mets system overall. Ritter slashed 257 to go along with a system leading 26 homers and 93 RBIs. No one in the system got close to these numbers. Ryan Clifford ranked second each at 19 and 68 RBIs. Ritter's 93 RBIs ranked second in the whole international league, which is, of course, triple A. The concern for Ritter has always been a high strikeout rate. However, the power has been undeniable and he does still walk a lot. He also brings some defensive versatility, playing innings at first. Second, third, and left field in 2024. 2025, the year Ritter finally gets a look. Is 2025 the year Ritter finally gets a look at the major league level? There was a lot of rumors that the Mets were going to call him up in the last in the last two or three weeks before the season ended. Well, at least the regular season ended. And finally in this video, Boston Barrow. He was selected in the eighth round in 2023 and a very strong first full season professionally. Now, 20-year-old Barrow spent the majority of his 2024 and single A St. Lucie before getting a late call up to High A Brooklyn. With St. Lucie, Barrow posted a 288, 368, 399 slash line with a 767 OPS. After his call up, he only got 44 bats where he hit 205. Overall, Barrow posted the eighth highest. WRC Plus and the Mets system in 2024 at 117. His 278 batting average came in at fourth highest. He also barely struck out, posting a strikeout rate of only 18.1%, which is 
which was the sixth best in the system. Being only 20 years old, Russell Enfield still has tons of time to develop. However, it was certainly a very encouraging first full professional season for Barrow. Now, you're going to ask, so why am I reading these different reports from other people? Is that I've not seen these players. And I will never tell you that I know what kind of player uh, what kind of player a player is if I haven't seen him myself. So I try to give you as much information from people that have seen the players and that are actually on the ground reporting it and giving us, Met fans, the scouting reports. Uh, the Met farm system has improved greatly in the past year. The setbacks this past year was due to injuries from the Mets positional players. Uh, the last few years, the Mets positional players have taken steps forward, but this year there were a lot of injuries around Mauricio, Jet Williams, Drew Gilbert, uh, Jacob Reamer. Uh, but the Mets at pitching took a step forward, and that a lot of guys really pitched well, like Jonathan, Brandon Sprout, Nolan McLean. All these guys took major steps forward. These three players in particular are at different, different levels and different places in their career in the Mets minor league system. Luke Ritter is the oldest of the group. He's 27 years old. So he has to make the major leagues very soon. Or he's not going to come. And he's not going to get to the majors. Nick Morbido has time to develop. There's no need to rush him. Uh, he's very talented. Weston Barrow was so far away, I couldn't tell you what his game is, is all about. But with all three of them, I've never seen. So that's why I give you scanning reports. And that's what's unique about this channel. Is I don't pretend to tell you I know everything that's going on with players I've not seen. So that's the value of what I do here. And hopefully you appreciate that. And just subscribe and uh, leave great comments. And I want to thank you for coming by. Please subscribe to the Prospect Hut and I'll see you later.